Good morning, everyone. Um, this is the topic of my presentation today. Uh, it's about globalization and the academy network in the creative field. I mean, uh, I thought it was not so easy to talk about semiotics in this occasion. And first of all, let me thank all of you for inviting me to take part in this conference, which is really covering uh, um, an important topic, not only for my job, I mean, but also for, uh, I mean, in general. Um, what I'm talking about today is, uh, you know, the, the problematic uh, and how the international um, program uh, runs when the topic is a creative topic. Because, as you know, it's not the same to have exchange programs and connection with the academies and university in all the fields. So what happens when we are talking about not medicine, not engineer, but about something so not material, like creativity and arts and design, especially in design. So a few words uh, about the academy I represent today. This is the name of the academy is Quasar Institute of Advanced Design, and the academy is located in Rome. And my role in this academy, so maybe that you can understand uh, the reason why I'm here, and maybe if it's, it could be also important for you uh, to have this uh, information. So about the university, um, the university is located in Rome, really in the center of Rome. It's not a case that I show you. Maybe someone of you can uh, recognize Castel Sant'Angelo. It's one of uh, the most beautiful places in our city. And the academy is located really near the Castel Sant'Angelo. That means if someone of you knows Rome, that the academy is really a small academy. You can't be in the center of Rome if you are a big uh, university, if you are a big institute, because in the center of Rome you have not big buildings. So we are located really in the center of Rome, and uh, we have uh, we have quite uh, not a long uh, history, but for this field it's quite a long history, because the academy was founded uh, more than 30 years ago. Uh, actually 31 years ago, and um, at that time uh, the academy was founded uh, by the former chief of the uh, um, architecture faculty, the public architecture faculty in Rome, the most important um, public university in Rome, and uh, he wanted to create like uh, a spin-off of the public university because in the public university there were so much students and they had not the possibility to uh, dialogue and discuss with the companies and to have a space for you know uh, the real research so 30 years ago he founded this academy just to have the possibility to uh, dialogue and discuss with the companies, the private company, and to have a place in which they could uh, research uh, in, in a creative uh, sense. At the moment, as I told you, we are so uh, such a small academy. Our students are not more than 400. I mean, uh, compared with my colleagues, I'm really like we are really like a family, you no, know, like an Italian family. Uh, the the students are really not so much, and because it's also uh, a, a question of quality of teaching in this field, because we can't have classroom with more than 20 students because it's impossible for a teacher to know each student if they have in the classroom more than 20 students. And you know, in this such field, it's really important the relationship between uh, the um, student and the teacher. We have only undergraduate and postgraduate programs. Um, so we have four undergraduate programs and uh, four postgraduate programs, so master's degree, and then the summer courses. Then we have tailor-made courses, uh, you know, if you want to, um, to, to learn something specific, but 
these are really a few programs because the importance is the quality of teaching because uh, for in Italian, uh, to teach design, and uh, if you know what the Italian design means for the Italians, it's such a responsibility. Because the um, topic of, the, the, of this uh, university, I mean, you are all uh, science, uh, scientists in this university, humanities, and maybe arts, and fine arts, it's not the topic of this university, maybe it's, um, you know, it's also important to say a few words about the design, what is design, and who are a designer, uh, so you can understand why I'm talking about a special, um, a special internationalization. What about design? What is design? Today, you know, we are living in a such complex world, in such a fluid world, we see. So everything is changing in every moment because the new technologies are really influencing all our lives. So design is um, now uh, can be understood uh, according to concept. Design is a culture and a practice. That means that you have to have a lot of skills uh, in order to, uh, to occupy this uh, field. A vision, first of all. You have to know, uh, to have an idea that w what you want to obtain. Uh, you have to have uh, the knowledge about the resources and the materials and the quality of materials, of course. And you, do, you, have, you need a good strategy in order to build your idea in something really practical and concrete. Design is also uh, a strategy. So uh, you have to put in contact more in the economic field. So the designer has to be at the same time a good practicer and at the same time a good communicator. So uh, design, it's be in it, uh, the, the aim of design is to find a way to have a balance between all these skills, and that means that design is an interdisciplinary discipline, and it's uh, on one hand it's uh, complex, on the other hand it's uh, artistic, so it's uh, about uh, now more things together. And who is a designer, and what a designer do does? Designers are project experts. Uh, they are, you know, they have a complex job because they have to put together a lot of actors, and they have they are experts in the materials, and they need to know all about the new technologies because they need the instruments uh, to to do the object and so on. And they are also the promoters of. Uh, their selves. So they need also to have uh, an open mind and uh, a mind uh, open to the communication. It's, uh, as you can imagine, it's really uh, quite a, a di difficult job. It's a really you know, motivating, but at the same time, you have to take into control a lot of things together. And if this is design, Design in Italy is something for us also special. And I think that everyone here knows uh, the peculiarities of our brand, I mean the Made in Italy brand. And of course, design is one of the symbols of our Made in Italy brand. I mean, not only design, it's also food, and <laughs> everything's related with our lifestyle, our vivere all'italiana, we say, but at the same time, design is for sure one of the most important things for our brand. The origin of this successful story is, uh, of course, took place, uh, no, we have to go back uh, in the history, in the Renaissance era, in uh, which we work in the so-called bottega. The bottega, as you see, uh, there were places in which um, more experiences and more skills and more people uh, work together in order to build something useful for the citizens, of course, but something also 
beautiful and uh, tactical appreciable. And since that time, uh, the Italian uh, artistic and uh, cre uh, creative people uh, started to uh, move on. I mean, um, they had more beautiful places than the Bottega. They have studios and they have more beautiful places, but the spirit is the same. And this is the reason of our success. I mean, and this is the reason also why uh, we don't have classroom so big, because the spirit is the same of that age. You need a maestro, you need a teacher. More than a teacher, you need a maestro, someone who knows you very well, uh, who, knows your who knows your personality, who talks to you to understand better who you are, so that you can build with the maestro something new. Uh, beautiful, aesthetical, really appreciable, but at the same time innovative. This is really a, a, a big challenge, uh, but this is what made the Italian design a successful topic and uh, well known all around the world. So according to the last study, Italia Creativa, um, we know that in Italian uh, GDP, the uh, in creative industries and the design is one of the most important of them. It's really uh, something in really important. So the economic value of this employment is almost 50 billion euros. It is more or less uh, 56 billion dollars. So you understand that for the Italian society, it's really important to invest in design. But you know, as I mentioned before, the Italian design is a symbol of our Made in Italy brand. But if you want to talk about the possibility to export or to uh, let uh, to the foreign students to know our, you know, uh, Italian uh, style design, you have to understand uh, an important thing. The design, as you see there, and uh, we show some picture now, it's really, really strong related with the context in which you do the design product. So the success of our industrial design uh, products is, of course, because they uh, make uh, beautiful things and useful things, but they are really connected with our uh, country. As you can see in this picture, this is a masterpiece, you know, of our Italian design. But of course, if you see this object, you understand that behind the object, this is a way of life. This is our coffee machine and the mocha machine. It's one of the objects that we use more in our life. But of course, it's our culture and it's our uh, way of life. So it's design is something aesthetically really beautiful and it's useful, but it's useful, but it's taught by ourselves and for our culture. You know, if you see this other example, this is also an industrial uh, object of design, uh, but of course you understand immediately, I mean, you laugh, so you understand that it couldn't be something uh, thought uh, by the Italian designers, because as you know, uh, one of the most important things in Italian design, in fashion design, and the shoe, so uh, are something that we are really proud of, and no one in Italy uh, would, uh, you know, dress some shoe, because, not because it's better or worse than others, but it's not our culture. So this is also uh, an object of design, uh, an artistic object, and really good uh, made and uh, beautiful at the same time, high quality materials, but it, they came from another country. So uh, as this other uh, masterpiece of uh, you know, the uh, product design, this is obviously thought for another culture, so Russian culture as the Scandinavian you uh, know uh, design is something really peculiar, and uh, the Scandinavian approach to design is really um, really important for the Italian design, but obviously it's something different. you know you can see just with briefly just with a quick briefly this is something really different so um, I don't know if I have uh, how much uh, time I have. 
So, uh, quickly to the point, to the critical point of this presentation, because of all the things uh, I said before, I mentioned before, you uh, really can understand that uh, the Italian design and to teach uh, the, the Italian design style is uh, something quite delicate. So if the internationalization is, uh, the aim of the internationalization is to generalize a product, you know, in order to be, uh, to be sent in all over the world, uh, you may understand that could be something really useful and richful for our country, but also a, a risk for our country. Because, you know, as the globalization does, uh, the standardization of the progress products, even if the Italian design uh, plays a, a big role in this uh, field because most of the uh, product uh, in the design field are influenced by Italian products. At the same time, this is really a, an, an opportunity on one hand, but on the other hand, a risk. So what's the solution? I think this is not, they are not solution, but yeah, I wanted to show also um, briefly uh, a, history, a case history about Zara, maybe. Do you know Zara? Yes. yes. You know, the problem of Zara is, uh, is not a problem. I mean, this is uh, really uh, no, the, the consequence of globalization. They have their own uh, designers. That means that all the designers of Zara, they are the Zara designers, all the products of, products of Zara are the same all over the world. So it's fine, Zara is nice, but at the same time, you don't uh, really, they have no soul. I mean, like the uh, product of design that they have to be a soul, and the soul is the soul of the country in which the product is developed. So about the, uh, the problems uh, in this field and the internationalization. What about the exchange programs? As you can imagine, it's not enough uh, for a foreigner students uh, to come in Italy just for one semester to do some exams in Italy in an uh, Italian academy to learn the Italian style and the Italian design. So it's uh, quite uh, difficult for us, uh, you know, to make the exchange program just in order to have two students here and then two students there. Uh, because after a semester and also after a year, it's quite impossible for students uh, to leave the situation there to, in Italy to enjoy the taste of the Italian style life, uh, lifestyle and then to come back and to do what? It's too, it, it's really not so useful at the same time. The importance of the Italian language. Uh, if uh, according to everything I taught before, it's not only a question to learn how we choose the materials, how we project an object, uh, how uh, is our um, methodology and our approach to the strategy. It's also how we live and how is Italy, and how beautiful is Italy, and how ancient is Italy, and the history of Italy. So if you don't know the language, I mean, you can come at university, you can take your lessons in English, but then you have to live in that country. So you have to speak with the people, and you can't understand the, the taste, and you can't come back and uh, telling really, yet now I know, the, the right approach to the design if you don't live there, if you don't speak with the people, if you don't enjoy the vita all'italiana, the bella vita. I mean, it's not so bad to live in Italy. So uh, this is also for the internationalization something uh, critical, you know, because it's not easy. Uh, the Italian language had to come and speak the Italian language. And the, for the cooperation, what does it mean? That the most important thing is to build programs together, to build something together, to build double degrees, to build program, uh, short programs, long programs, it's not, uh, not so important. The importance to build something together with the other university. It takes time, of course, because it's not the same to have a, a simple exchange program and a simple exchange uh, of students and teaching exchange. But at the same time, it's really useful for 
really go deeply to this field. Uh, if I have three minutes time, uh, I want it, if I, have, uh, if I don't, it's not a, a problem. If I have three minutes time, I want you to show a video. Uh, the, the video was made for our students, the graphic designer students and the interaction designer students for the NAFSA uh, of 2018. Um, NAFSA is uh, the um, International Association for the Educators. So they made this video in order to uh, show how does it mean to uh, live in Italy and to, uh, not to live, but to study in Italy and to enjoy the Italian life. So uh, enjoy the video and thank you. Coming. Uh, yeah, uh, I allowed. Maybe it's, it takes a while. If you don't have it, it's not important. Just a minute. Hey, 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 stop that. What's up? Oh, I see. Well, you asked for it. Kids, it's time for me to tell you the story of how I met your mother. It all started about 10 years ago, when I was a young engineer and she just graduated from high school. She was stunning. We shared lots of the same interests and we did everything together. One day, while we were in the park, she confessed that she wanted to continue her studies in Rome at the Academy of Fine Arts. It was her lifelong dream. I thought it was a really good idea, and Rome would also be the perfect place for my PhD. So, we decided to go together. We'll never forget our first day in university. The Italian students made us immediately feel like family. They showed us the classrooms and the labs where we were going to study. We were best friends right off the bat. Italy is full of wonderful places to study, even outside. One in particular was an inspiration for both me and your mother. And you believe this architecture was built more than 2,000 years ago and is still in use today? The Italian students were really friendly people. We often went to eat in their homes. Hey John, what are your plans for tomorrow? We're going to Florence to visit Maria. She's an Italian friend of Lee's and she's studying fashion design. Lee, we need to get going or we'll miss our train to Rome. Hey, what's that? It's the Brunelleschi Dome, the largest masonry dome ever built in history. I'm becoming more and more convinced of our choice every day. This country is the ideal place to study and do research. Life is great, full of state-of-the-art facilities, surrounded by beauty and excellence. I was so impressed by the quality of teaching and the professors, but especially with their method. I'm sure this place will provide us wide-ranging and well-deserved success. Hey, Dad. When will you take us to Italy? Easy, champ. You'll study there soon.